you will see something pop up on your screen when we are live. Yes, I see it. Good morning, good morning, good morning, students, good morning, staff, good morning, parents, good morning, everyone who is here. We, um, we want to thank um, everyone for joining us um, 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 here on this live. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Feel welcome, students. As we start, we're going to be going off into devotion. Now, um, the our our theme as um, our theme for this year is reimagining education through persist um, th sorry th through persistence, resi resilience, and excellence. That is the theme for this year's school um, um, school, and we want to um, to look at a passage. Um, it's a very well known passage. Um, very well known to to all of us that we will be looking at this morning it is taken from philippians chapter 4 and we will be reading from verses 8 through to 9 just those two verses finally brothers whatever is true whatever is honorable whatever is just whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is commendable if there is any excellence if there is anything worthy of praise Think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard, sorry, what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. Right? I want us to remember those things, um, um, these two verses this year as we go into reimagining. Right? I want to share something with us all. I want us to look at this picture. Excuse me, for your picture is not coming. 
Sorry about this. The picture wasn't coming up properly. My apologies. Technology sometimes can give away. Here is the picture. Sorry about, about this, students, everyone. All right, so look at this picture right here. Uh, for some persons, this picture is half full. For others, they might see it as half empty. It all has to do with in terms of how exactly you see this picture right here. How do you see the picture? Um, at the moment, a lot of persons are are wondering in terms of, the, but then no, that's the online learning now. Go do anything. How can we go back to online learning? And then no, say that's a half of Jamaica or half of the school population will not come on online. But we have to you know start to start to start to reimagine how it is that we do education, how it is that we learn. So therefore, that is why we have to come up back to this very same passage, right? Passage of scripture, right? Finally, brothers and sisters, finally, everybody, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, right? Whatever is lovely. We have to now start reimagining and start thinking of ways. How can I? Uh, how can I make technology? How can I reimagine? How can I change my thinking of how to approach my learning this year? Last year never worked out so lovely, right? Last year did not work out so lovely for many persons. But guess what? We are not gonna allow that right there to to not allow us to go forward this year. So I want to leave a couple of things with us. Right here, here are a couple of things that I want us to leave us. So the first thing that I want to leave us was, was is reimagine, right? Reimagine um, in terms of the way in which we do things. And I've been talking about that so far. Reimagine how we do things. Change the way in which we do things. Look back at the past. Look back. Look at what you have done. Right? Look back at what you have done. Did it work last year? Right? If it worked, good. But yeah, guess what, Esther? Even though it worked, no, you can add other things to it. We can add other things to that which which, which, have, which has worked. And for some persons, they will say that oh, if it's not broken, do not fix it. All right? That is how some persons um, view view that right here. So, but reimagine how it is that we do things. Look at the ways in which we do it. Look at it. Secondly, I want us to look at what it is that we are feeding our minds. Students, colleagues, everyone here, look at what we are allowing to feed our minds. It's, it's, you see this man right here? It's a very powerful thing. The mind is very powerful. Right? So we have to start looking at what it is that we are feeding our minds. Right? Look at what exactly you are watching. Look at what exactly you are listening to. Look at who it is that you are allowing to influence you. Don't allow the negativity. Do not allow things that that will stop you. Right? From persevering, from becoming resilient, from becoming excellent. Look at those things and ensure that say you are aligning yourself for the for your own success. Right, so we are changing. We are changing the way in which we look at things. So first thing was first. Thing, the first thing that we look at is that we have to now start reimagining new things. Look at new ways. The second thing was that we must be careful of what exactly we are feeding our minds. And thirdly, thirdly, we are then going to look at say how can I allow because this has been working with me. Because I have developed this new thing and, and I realize that say, oh, uh, uh, it is working, I am going to try my very best to share that which I have been doing with other persons. So therefore, we are changing the world. Know this. Know this, students. No matter who you are, no matter what age you are, you can influence students, influence others positively. No matter who you are, you are, you are, no matter what age you are, no matter what stage you are, you can influence other persons. Know that about yourself. Know that about yourself. Right? So those are some, those, those are three things.
that I want to leave with us this morning as we look at reimagining education. Right? As this as as the passage says, it's located in Philippians 4 verses 8 and 9. And what you can do, students, what you can do, students, you can take your Bible and get a highlighter and mark that verse. Right? Um so some persons may say that say oh that's it. when they were younger their parents would have said this would have repeated this verse to them every single day right whatever thing that is pure whatever is honorable think on these things right because guess what is a new way of doing things and we are going to make sure that say, we do it and do it to the best of our abilities i want to thank you all for listening to me this morning and i am not going to move um, I'm call upon Miss Ellis and Miss Park, who is going to take us through the rest of this morning. Good morning, students. Welcome to the Frank Court High School family. What a one! How are you guys doing? Miss Park, how are you? Check in, man. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. I am feeling good this morning. I'm representing my color this morning. I'm feeling good and ready for work. How are you, Miss Ellis? I am Even as we're enough. saying welcome, we are all <laughs> Awesome. I am good, Miss Park. I am good, so, Miss Miss Park. Having a delay, or is it, is it on my end? It's on my end this morning, unfortunately. Okay. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. So welcome again, students. Today we have lots in store for you. We're going to be doing virtual tours. We're going to be doing giveaways. So please stay tuned and you know listen. Credit cards. Um, give the mass. We have a whole heap of things coming your way right now in this minute. So we're going to ask you to pay keen attention. And for my grade st um, seven students who are just joining us, please, you know, welcome, 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 welcome so much. And we are happy to have you here. So, Miss Park, what is on the agenda for the first up? We're going to check in with them. Yes, we're going to be checking in. And what we're going to be doing, students, I am currently monitoring the chat. You'll see me looking down from time to time. I am monitoring YouTube. So what we're going to be starting out with, it is something that we're also going to be doing further on into the school year. We're going to be checking in because we want to find out where you're at. I already saw somebody posting in the chat that, boy, online thing not working. But I want to ask a question this morning. What a pre? Because we are talking about persistence, resilience, excellence, and not just that, but reimagining education. So guys, my phone is in my hand. I am on YouTube checking to see what you have to say in the chat. What's your pre this morning? What are you saying this morning? So oh, you know, Miss Park, Miss Park, you know, yes. we could check in with ourselves first, you know, so let me ask you over this. So what is going uh, on? Are you excited for the next school year? How is it? You know, let us know. I am looking forward to it. I don't know what is it's going to be looking like, but I am just, I'm open to new possibilities because I am all about reimagining this year because our theme says it. We have right. to go back to the join board. We have to think about things on a different level. And that is where my mindset is at this morning. So I don't know what the rest of the day is going to be bringing, but I am ready to embrace it and I'm looking forward to it. All right, my same here. this morning. <laughs> All right, same here, same here. For me, everybody don't know Miss Ellis Bubbly already, always ready. So for those who don't know Miss Ellis, you're going to, by the end of the day, or by the end of this session, you definitely know Miss Ellis. But before we check in with our students, you just want to know Miss Mrs. Howell, she's our Dean of Discipline. We're just checking in with you, Mrs. Howell. How are you? You know, what are your expectations for the school year? I am great. I'm good. I'm like the TV station, looking in, looking out, looking better. Better. <laughs> and I'm with me on that one. 
All right, all right, thank you. So that is our DOD, Dean of Discipline, Mrs. Howell. And we have our guidance counselor here who he started us off this morning, Mr. Kino Thompson. Wagwan, go on, what a pre, what, mm, ready? Ready long time, ready long time, ready to go. Because as what we said, look here, we are reimagining things right here. And guess what? I'm ready to go. Ready for the new school year. And so I'm here. All right. All right, and we are ready for you too. So students, as I said, go for the book. Wait, you don't move from the computer yet. Hurry up and go for the book and the pen. Surprises and surprises. So hurry up. So while we're at it, we are going to check in with Miss Patricia White, and she is the newest member of the guidance counseling department. Miss Patricia, what a pre, what go on? Good morning. I'm doing very well. And uh, it's just a pleasure to be here with everyone. I'm excited. I'm just, I just want to get to know everyone, want to be a part of this school and to work together to make Fern Court the number one school in St. Anne. I think it already is. So I'm just looking forward to working with everyone. And I'm in good spirits. I'm excited to see everyone this morning. Good morning. All right, there you have it, Miss Patricia White. I love the energy so far, and I love the energy. I'm trying to scroll through for Mr. Warren. Anybody see him? Mr. Warren, when they may not see him, walk one. I wonder if Mr. Warren alarm crack never wake him up this morning. Why, why are you looking? You may look, me not see Mr. Warren. So, Mr. Warren, if All you're right, there, just you searching for Mr. Warren. Yes, go ahead, Miss Park. Let's hear what is happening on YouTube in the chat. All right, so I'm going through. So persons are saying, Miss Ellis, that they miss you. Persons are complimenting also Miss Howell's looks. So we are already hearing what's the pre. So the pre, teachers, we are being appreciated already. Counselors are already being appreciated. So we there's another comment here reinventing our way of learning we can do it that's the pre that i'm getting from youtube mm -hmm. all right let's go down some more let's go down some more all right here's another one pumped about this year and there's another one here saying yes they're seeing their favorite teacher so they're happy to see their favorite teacher all right Another person here, the pre looking forward to face to face school. So are we? We are looking forward to it ourselves. We too. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Smells are being complimented. Teachers, as I said, you're being appreciated. So that's part of the pre for the students this morning. All right. Another one here is saying, boy, I'm tired. Another person is saying, I'm hyped up. Somebody's mm -hmm. talking about persistence. So this is the pre on YouTube this morning. All right, better interest in school, them up the stream 100%. All right, we're getting compliments on the energy. All right, another one here is saying, Miss, I am prepared. Somebody right. is saying that I miss face to face. So this is the pre on YouTube. Thank you so much, guys, for checking in and telling us what's your... Hi, Miss Spark. Miss Spark, thanks. And for those students that are checking in, we're tired too, yes, man, because we have a long, long summer and we're back here. We can't, we can't wait to have you. And for those who are hoping for face-to-face, -face, trust me, trust me. We're all hoping for face-to-face -face classes to come and meet and engage with you. You know, a little birdie tell me that Mr. Warren is here with us. Mr. Warren, walk on with a pre. The students, they need to know and see you. Mr. Warren, we still not, no man, somebody get the alarm clock for Mr. Warren, no man. On the command, command, students, students, students. So I'm so happy to know that, you know, we are all, you know, coming forward or a positive mind. We're going to get this, ladies and gentlemen. But before we go any further, and we're going to continue our check-in, so big up Miss Spark for that, we have to have, of course, Mr. Thomas, who is our principal. So Mr. Thomas, your address. Over to you, sir. Welcome. 
All right, I see that the vibes is right here at Frankwood High School YouTube channel. Thank you, guidance team, for starting the day off. It's a privilege and honor for me to give greetings and welcome to all our persons on the platform here on our Zoom platform and also on the YouTube channel. Our education officer is also here with us, Mrs. Acosta. No, you're somewhere around. Welcome, or she's our education officer from the Ministry of Education, Youth, and Information. Not sure if she wants to say any few words to us this morning, Mrs. Acosta. Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Fern Court family. It is really a great pleasure to be here with you this morning. I feel the vibes. Yeah. I see the guidance team. I see everybody ready and raring to go. And I know that it is gonna be a long morning. I'm just touching base for a minute with most of my schools. So I just want to say all the best for this academic year. Teachers, welcome back. Students, welcome back. And our new students, welcome to the best high school in the region. And I know that you will make my words come through and also come true. Blessings for a great academic year. Thank you, Mrs. Acosta, for giving those few words this morning. Yes, we are revved and ready to go as we move into the 2021-2022 school year. Thank you, Mrs. Acosta. All right, so before I go any further, I'm going to ask the member of staff to introduce themselves. All right, uh, we'll start with our vice principals, Mrs. Kerryan McDonald, Mr. Malan Anderson, followed by the managers and the new teachers, then followed by return to. So I'm going to just ask you to just raise your hand after the vice principals, then our managers, new teachers, and then our returning teachers. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Just something short, I think. Go ahead, Mr. Addison, you're on. No, I'm on. You're hearing me, Mrs. Howell? Loud and clear. Loud and clear. All right. Big up front court students. Good morning. Good morning. I, I told the, the, the staff good morning already, but let me do it again. Morning, everybody. I love the vibe. Trust me. BJ Ellis is in the house. <laughs> All right. So students, it's another year. This one is going to be better than the one before. Mrs. Da Costa, I am going to hold the staff to your statement about us being the best school in this region. And we are going to be pushing for that more than ever before. Thank you so much for that. I think I'm a little bit more pumped up with what Mrs. Dakasa just said a while ago. So colleagues, I, I'm hoping that this energy can just, just flow through everybody and we can have a wonderful year. Students, welcome, welcome, welcome back. New students, Welcome to the best high school in this region. Thank you so much. Your turn, Mrs. Mark. You have to unmute. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. All right, good morning, Franklin High School. Teachers, students, welcome, welcome. This is the start of a new academic year, one that we're all hyped up about and we're ready for, we are ready to go. Big up the guidance team, Miss Ellis, loving the vibes, Miss Parks, Mrs. Howell, Miss, Miss White, Mr. Thompson. Good going, guys, good going. Good morning to our education officer, Mrs. DaCosta. So, and I know maybe we have parents here with us. Good morning to everyone. 
I'm looking forward to working with you. And I know that we're going to have an excellent year. And to our students, our new students, welcome aboard. We're here and we're willing and ready to work with you. Our returning students, you don't know the Frank Court vibes already. You don't know the vibes already, right? But I just want to say to the students, as you go through the year, listen, make excellent your brand. I know we have our theme that we're working with, re-imaging education through persistence, resilience, and excellence. But I just want each student here on this platform to remember that in everything you do, make excellent your brand. All right? Have a good day, everybody. All right. Thank you, Vice Principals. All right. Let me just go randomly. All right, Mrs. Reed. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Looking forward to a very productive school year. I am Mrs. Reed, the grade nine coordinator. Thank right. you. Good, good. Miss Cross. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jade Cross, teacher of English language, English literature, and I'm also your culture agent. And I'm definitely waiting to meet all the new, not new teachers, new students this year, and returning students, of course. All right. This is Bart. Good morning, everyone. I'm Doreen Barrett. Head of the Agricultural Science Department, and I'm looking forward to work with all my agricultural, agricultural science students this year, as well as the other student population. All right, thank you, Mrs. Barrett. Mrs. Franklin Bailey. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Frankfurt High School to our new students, and welcome back to our old students welcome parents good morning it's going to be a wonderful year ahead i am mrs jody and franklin bailey the examination and ict coordinator as well as teacher of business looking forward to working with you have a wonderful rest of the day and week right so going through the list this is brian not on it's a full ton Good morning, everyone. My name is Ruben Fullerton. I'm teacher of mathematics and also the head of the department. I'm waiting anxiously to work with you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Fullerton. Ms. McCormack. Good morning, everyone. Renee McCormack, teacher of principles of business and business process outsourcing, as well as newly the business department HOD and sixth form coordinator. Wishing you all a Fabulous 2021 to 2022. All right. Thank you, Mr. Einstein. Good morning, everyone. Um, hi, good morning, everyone. Um, Einstein, I'm grade eight coordinator and also teacher of lower school technical drawing. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all, new and returning, and I wish you all a productive. Um, academic year. Right. Thank you, Mr. Ansign. Miss Reed. Pleasant good morning. Melissa Reed, grade seven coordinator. Uh, thank you. Uh, Miss Campbell. That's on. This is Menzies.
Smenzes. Oh, sorry about that. Good morning, everyone. I am Mistress Carmen Menzies, your student support coach. I will be helping out with your learning, your literacy needs and other learning gaps. Also, I'll be assisting in creating group plans or individual plans where needed. Welcome to the new school here. Looking forward to a great experience. Thank you all. Thank you, Mrs. Pingy. Spingy, this is Will Mackenzie. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mrs. Will Mackenzie, the acting HOD for Social Sciences Department. Welcome to Frankfurt High School. Hope you have a grand time. All Thank right. you. Thank you. You're welcome. You will know more about our guidance team later on. You would have met some of them already. So we're not going to them. All right, Mrs. Pingy, you're ready? All right, Mrs. Pingy is our RE and Health and Family Life Head of Department. All right, so let's meet our, some of our new teachers. My DJs, make sure you have a song ready. You know. Ready to play? I think we might just can take a little music from Miss Ellis. Hello, Frank Wade. So we're going to meet our newest members of staff. Hey, it's a new dream, Frank Wade. It's a new day. It's a new week. It's a new academic year. Hey, hey, show me the rock, students. Hey, load them up in the comments. Hey, 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 over to you, Mr. Thomas. All right, so we're keeping the vibes here at Frankwood High School as we start our new year. So it's now time to meet our new teachers, Akila Cousins. Good morning, everyone. My name is Akilia Cousins, and I'll be your new chemistry teacher. I look forward to working with you guys. Welcome, welcome again, Mr. Jordan Garvey. Good morning, school family. My name is Jordan Garvey, and I will be a teacher of chemistry. Looking forward to a safe and productive academic year. Hey, good. Tanasha Murray. Good morning, everybody. My name is Tanasha Murray. I am a teacher of business education and I'm also the form teacher for grade 9E. Thank you for having me. All right, thank you, Raji. Hi. Good morning, Friend Court family. I am Mr. Raji Pine and I will be your music teacher for this year. All right. All right, Mr. Rosewell. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to school to all the, the, the persons that joined in on our YouTube channel. Um, I'm Honey Rosewell, and I'm the new maths teacher at Firm Court High School. Thanks. Right, welcome, Miss Anaki Williams. Anaki. Shantaya Forbes. Good morning, good morning, students. I am Miss Shantoya Forbes, and I am a part of the business education team. I'm looking forward to be with you. Thank you. All right. So now you're brown. Good morning, good morning, friend family. My name is Feli Team. Look to school here. 
All right, so now you're brand good. Welcome back, Trevon Jackson. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Mr. Trevon Jackson checking in. Right. And it's my pleasure to be back. And I look forward to a productive school here. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Miss Ellis, we still start the returning teacher. So just let's build up vibes, no? I love my life. I love my life. Miss Park, what are they saying in the comments? Checking in into the comments. Miss Park, what is going on? What are going on? What are you praying? Students making music. What you were listening to, but then we heard what you were listening to. So we're still here enjoying the pre. There's still a bit of nerves, but a lot of persons are still expressing how much they're looking forward to back to school. So let me go through some more. Yeah, they're loving the mood that we're building. And yeah, just get our vibes bad. So we're good to go. We're still enjoying it. We're still loving it. And they are saying a lot of welcome to the new teachers. And okay, here's one. Loving the energy, Miss Ellis. Positive vibe, positive attitude. And the question is still always going to be coming up, you know. Online learning not really working. When is face to face? But guess what? As we said earlier, Part of the pre, we are reimagining. So this is part of how we are reimagining. So this is part of our face-to-face. -face. So until we can get closer, this is what we will be doing for now. So that's the pre so far. I'm still going through. Anything else, I'll update you later on. Hey, if you love your life, let me know in the comments. Yes, and if you love Frankway High School, show some positive comments, man. Hey! Hey! Teachers, get ready! Mr. C, get ready! Vibes in! I love my life! We love Fern Court! Everything about Fern Court! All right, over to you, Mr. T! All right, all right. So we're starting off with Andre Francis. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, students. Good morning. Pleasant good morning to the new students here at Fern Court. My name is Mr. Andre Francis, and I'm the geography teacher at Fern Court. I look forward to a fun and exciting year of learning. Thank you. All right, thank you. Is Anna K. Williams ready? Are we for God now? Good morning, everyone. I am Arifa Gardner, visual art teacher, and I'm hoping and wishing that we have a very productive year. All right, thank you, Carlisa Smith. Good morning, everyone. I'm Miss Carlisa Smith, and I'm a part of the science department. Okay, good, good. This is Switzerland Francis. Good morning, Fern Court family. I am Antricia Whittingham Francis, and I'm a member of the English department where I teach English at the lower school. All right, welcome. Going through the list. Sweetie, you got muted, Sweetie. Connell Brown. Good morning, everyone. My name is Connell Brown, and I am a mathematics teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Dina Henry. Good morning, everyone. I am Dina Henry, teacher of mathematics. 
Thank you. All right. So Sylvester Demar. Not on, Mrs. Garth. Scott, go ahead. Yes, sir. Good morning, everyone. My name is Denise Garth, teacher of religious education. I hope we'll have a good year. All right, thank you, Damika Horton. Good morning, everyone. My name is Amika Horton, teacher of Caribbean Studies and Sociology. All right, as well, both. Everyone, my name is Jenny Burr, teacher of Religious Education. I hope you have a good year. Good morning, everyone. My name is Doswell Bolt, teacher of Information Technology. I'd like to welcome everybody to this new school year. All right, welcome, Spingy. Mr. Hills. Mr. Folks. Good morning, everyone. Mr. Hills from Natural Science Department, teacher of physics. Welcome. Right, welcome, Mr. Folks. So, folks, Mr. Douglas. Uh, good morning, everyone. Parents and um, students on the um, YouTube channel. Morning, teachers. Um, I'm Wentworth Folks. I am your um, IT teacher for this academic, academic year. Um, that's it. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sylvester. Good morning, everyone. I am Demar Sylvester, and I will be teaching physical education and integrated science for this academic school year. So Abba, I wish for you all a very productive um, academic school year. So once again, welcome and good morning. All right, good morning. Yes, Miss Ellis, where do you want to build some more vibes? I am introducing myself, you know, Mr. T, because okay. family, you know, only don't know it's Lady Ellis in the building. I see that you're all pulling up the YouTube chat. Yes. So, of course, I'm teaching health and farm life education, the vibes class. Yes, man. So, come and learn about your health, life skills, and that's to say. So, over back to you, Mr. T. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Ellis. DJ Ellis in the house. Mr. Reed, Kevin Reed. Good morning, everyone. Kevin Reed, Mathematics Department. Thank you. All right, Mr. Reed, Mrs. Stennett. Good morning, colleagues, students, parents. Welcome to those who are new to the Fern Court High School family, and welcome back to those who are joining us this school year. I am Lisa Stennett. I am a teacher of home economics and I'm also a form teacher for 8E. I wish for you all a productive school year, though I expect it will also be a challenging one. All right, Mrs. Stennett. 
Oh, I did not remember to mention this Miss, next one, Miss Jefferson, Lineage Jefferson Gray. Good morning, welcome. Jefferson Gray. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, colleagues. Good morning to returning a new student. It's my pleasure to return to Ferncourt. I am Miss Lani Jefferson Gray, and I am a teacher of geography in grade 10, 11, and 6 form. I look forward to having a very productive year, and I look forward to teaching you, and I also look forward to face-to-face um, -face classes. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> All right, good. All right. So now the returning students, you know, have to call her Mrs. Gray. Congratulations again. Mrs. Crystal Wilson Aniki, your time. Pleasant morning to you all. I am Crystal Wilson Aniki, teacher of English Language and Communication Studies. Please have a blessed year. All right, Miss Sanfroy. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome to the new students. I'm wishing you nothing but progress and stuff. I'm Miss Antroy, a teacher of social studies and integrated science. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Miss Nicola Brown. Good morning, everyone. My name is Nicola Brown, teacher of information technology. I'm looking forward to interacting with you all, whether online or face-to-face, -face, if the opportunity presents itself. All right, thank you, Mr. Hall. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mr. Hull, um, AutoCAD teacher in grade 11 and grade 10. Welcome you back to school. I hope you have a great school year. All right, thank you. Ms. Murray, Marisha Murray. Good morning and welcome to another school year. I am Ms. Marisha Murray, and I'll be teaching you agricultural science and integrated science. All right, welcome. Pamela Smith. Good morning, everyone. I'm Pamela Smith, teacher of Family and Consumer Management Department, and I'm also the grade 11 RT form teacher. All right, welcome, Ms. Smith. Ms. Burnett, Patricia Burnett. Ms. Burnett. Mr. Miller, Paul Miller. Good morning, everyone. My name is Paul Miller. I'm a part of the Modern Language and English Department. Just want to say welcome to all the new teachers and students and have a productive school year. This is Alan Reed. Thank you, Alan Reed. Oh, sorry, Patricia Clark. Sorry, Patricia Clark. Good morning, everyone. I am Patricia Clark, teacher of English, and I want to welcome you to Frankfurt High School. Have a productive year, everyone. Right, thank you, Miss Rosemary Allen Reed. Good morning, everyone. I am Allen Reed, teacher of social. Thank you, Mrs. Roxanne Michael Gentles. Buenos dias. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Academic Year 2021 to 2022. It will be a pleasure to be con continue to be in your Spanish teacher. I am overwhelmed. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm not going to think about the negative. I'm only me just a pre on the positive. So let's pre positively, okay? Love you all. Ciao. All right, thank you. 
Miss Savita, that takes it. Savita. Chevenise Gordon. Good morning, everyone. I am Chevenise Gordon, and I'll be teaching mathematics and business basics. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ms. McIntyre. Good morning. Buenos dias a todos. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tanisha McIntyre, teacher of Spanish. Bienvenidos. All right, thank you, thank you. I don't, I, I understand it. Buenos dias, Papa. I couldn't tell you what the other part means. All right, thank you, thank you. Trudy Williams. Good morning, everyone. Trudy Williams here. I'm a member of the Family and Consumer Management Department, and I wish for you a wonderful and productive school year. Thank you. Right, thank you, Mr. Wayne Reed. You ready for me, sir? Good morning. Yes, good, good, morning. Morning. good morning, teachers. Welcome back to school. Stay fit. All right, stay fit. That's so true. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Mr. Seymour, Winston Seymour. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Winston Seymour, and I'm a member of the Mathematics Department along with the Agricultural Department, and it's nice working with y'all. All right, welcome back, Mr. Martin Rose. Mm. And Ms. Tavia Parker, we turn your time. All right, good morning, everyone. My name is Tavia Parker Whitorn, and I am teacher for library skills and also the grade 8F form teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose, Martin Rose. Not hearing you, sir. Miss Charmaine Book Scoot. Yes. Good morning, everyone. My name is Mrs. Scoot, and I'm the teacher of language arts. Welcome, and I hope we have a productive year. Blessings all. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Did I miss anyone? Just raise a hand. If I miss you accidentally, just raise a hand. We'll make Miss Ellis do a little advice for us as we finish off this section. This one, we have to big up chronics, you know. We have to big up chronics. Listen to man. Hey. Hey. Hold up, students, teachers, parents, wait. Only hear that? Hold on, hold on, wait. What is that? It's giveaway time. It is giveaway time. No man, only hear it. Mrs. Howell, you hear that? Guidance counselors, me can't keep quiet. No man, answer me, see it. And is in my seat. It's giveaway time. So the question, the first giveaway question is, are you ready? Are you ready for this one? Miss, Miss Parr, let me know if I'm ready now, man, please. Let me know if I'm ready for the first giveaway. All right. They're getting ready. They're getting ready. They're getting ready. All right. They're ready now. Ready, ready, 
So okay. make sure you, know, you have to be paying attention. You have to be paying attention. And of course, Mrs. Howell, which gift should we start off with? We ask the question and then afterwards you tell them the gift. What do you say, Mrs. Howell? What, what do you pray? Ask them the question and tell them the gift after. All right. So we're going to ask the question and then we're going to tell you the gift after. So if you were listening, if you were listening, the question is, wait, it's, it's talking to me. Chronix is talking to me. Wait, wait. Wait, it's a, it's a more. Yes, yes. All right. All right. So the first question is, what is the name of the AI? of our education officer. What is the name of our education officer? Yes, right then and there. So make sure you know, I know you know it. You in the PE top, the yellow PE, Jacob top. Yes, you may talk. Yes, you. You look for me like some matter. Yes, you may talk into. Who, what is the name of our education officer? Officer. Okay, we Ms. have Pilot a winner. Let's what the chat is saying. We she have has... a winner. We have a winner already? Yes, we have a winner already. The first right, person... Load up the winner. Load up the winner. First person to send in the answer, and I'm going to ask you to tell your name. The person who is going by the handle Supreme on YouTube. So you need to send your name so that you can be given your prize. So the person with the handle Supreme, that's the first person who came in with the Name answer. and grade. Name and grade, Miss Park. So we need your name and we need your grade. So be sure to drop that into the chat. I'm scrolling down now to see if you have put it in. Congratulations, Supreme. Hey, I, mean, I know my friend court students are attentive, you know. Bad, 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 bad. So thanks for Chronix. Chronix told me that question, you know. Yeah, Chronix said, DJ, any of our friend courts, you? Yes, man. Hey, I know I'm blessed. Teachers, get ready, get ready. Use the raise and feature so Mr. Thomas can call on you. All right, turning things over to you, Mr. Thomas. All right, thank you, DJ Ellis for keeping the vibes and the rest of the guidance team. So we'll continue the rest of our teachers on staff, Martin Rose, starting with Martin Rose. Mr. Rose. Good Great. morning, everyone. Breaking up a little. Still freezing, Mr. Rose. We will go back to you later on. Mrs. Powell, sorry, Miss Powell. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Ellarine Powell. Mm -hmm. I teach mm -hmm. social mm -hmm. studies mm -hmm. and history, and I'm also the 9R form teacher. Thank you, Miss Powell. All right, Mr. Rose. So, Thomas, are you hearing me now? Yes, I'm hearing you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Martin Rose, teacher of agricultural science. <laughs> All right, Mr. Rose, welcome. Mrs. Morgan Pingy. 
I lost connection for a little while, Mr. Thomas. Um, good morning, everyone. Welcome. I am Yvette Morgan Pingy, and I'll be overseeing religious education as well as HFLE department. I will also be teaching integrated science. Thank you. All right, thank you, Mrs. Morgan Pingy. If I miss anyone, just use the raise hand feature and I give, give you the opportunity to say welcome to our new returning students on the platform. All right, so this morning, I want to just go through briefly, just briefly, what are some of the expectations moving into the new academic year? As you would have heard, our counselors, the guidance team, health and family life, and our vice principals, this year, our theme will be reimagining education, imaging, sorry, reimaging education to persistent, resilient, and excellence. Let me, sorry about that, make sure the sound is on. Our vision and mission statement. Frankwood High School, involving all stakeholders in acquiring knowledge, developing skills, and building character to function globally. Frankwood High School, a dynamic institution is committed to instill in its students the need for excellence in academic and extracurricular activities, positive attitude, environmental awareness, high moral values and skills to function in this technological age. Now, for the persons who didn't get a chance to come on the compound, I have some updates on our infrastructure projects which we completed and in progress. I got man. I may never walk alone. God is always in control. And in all the things I do, mm, your price win. And the blessings coming soon. I can feel it in my bone. I was young, but now I'm grown. Mm, never yet lose my fear. Dog, never yet lose my way. Cause I jar guide. A jar guide, a jar guide, uh, uh, uh. Then we must go through the gate. From me, they my bond, me know my great. And a jar guide, a jar guide, a jar guide, uh, uh, uh. Mm, Many nights, my coulda die. The same pint, the trigger fly, but chat is always by my side. So I know there's no need to hide. Mm, running like you see the bike, no carry stripe. Mm, I never hype, I know it's clear in sight. I run no more, I stand and fight. Mm -hmm, never yet lose my fear, dog. Me never yet lose my way. Cause a jar guide, a jar guide, a jar guide. Uh, 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 uh. Then we must go through the gate. From me, dear, my bond, me know my great. And a jar guide, a jar guide. A jar guide, ah, mm, me a god, you a god too. Don't make no try mad, yo. Ja never give you what you can handle. Ah, life and no something for your gamble. Go land for your life like bangle. Badness and no something for your tangle. With one see we burn like candle. Lead all when me choke them a strangle. So it ain't no giving up. No, not this way. And we gotta leave it up Cause we ain't gon' fail mm -hmm. Never yet lose my fear Never yet lose my way Cause a jar guide A jar guide A jar guide uh, uh, uh. Then we must go Alright So even the main gates Trust me when I do the next video You will see that we would have almost completed the main entrance, the top gate, the bottom gate. Our server room is much more better now and so forth. So these are some infrastructure we're putting in place as we get ready for face-to-face, -face, all right? In terms of technology and education and administration, we're going to utilize our My School Jamaica platform. So the new students, I would have explained that to you at your orientation. That's where you'll be able to go on parents to view your child's academic performance and attendance. And Google Classroom will still continue to use it for teaching and learning. So for the new students now, we will have to 
transfer your MOE account from your primary schools to our school so that you'll be able to access our Google Classroom platform here at Front Court High School. We have some standards for online operations. So when you meet your form teachers later on this week, if you have any issues, My School Jamaica, Google Classroom, you would tell your form teacher who will feed the information to the respective grade coordinator to the ICT coordinator, right? Hopefully by Wednesday, we're looking at to start using the My School Jamaica platform to mark the registered daily. So parents and students, you'll be able to go on to see if you're present for a particular day. We'll continue to enforce the COVID-19 health and safety protocol. Mrs. Howell will talk that up more later, either today or tomorrow. So those are things we'll enforce. We're going to continue to create partnerships with relevant government agency to assist in our personal development programs. We will continue our child-friendly school concept, the step up, step up. So we're going to strengthen our incentive programs, which we already start today for staff members and students who are meeting expectation based on our core values, step up. And you will learn more about that today. Rules are going to be reinforced consistently, especially with online etiquette, right? And the Dean of Discipline will talk more on that. We are going to continue the alternative pathway to secondary education. And you would have met Mrs. Menzies, is one of our pathway support coach to help us ensure that those our students are at the pathway two and three, we get the necessary assistant because the coaches will work with the respective subject teachers because we know that everybody learn at different levels. We want our parents to be more involved in their children's education through the great PTAs and workshops planned for you. And our teachers will go through a series of ongoing professional development sessions, right? And we will have intervention programs for students in subjects at the internal and external level, especially those that are below the school's target in the school improvement plan. And as you, was, you saw in the video, we're setting up additional ICT centers. The one that you saw was a reading room. So when I do the updated one, you will see that we are actually started with the numeracy room. So that's a room where is an ICT center where students, when they can go in, access to the internet, certain resources to help enhance mathematics and English. We are prepared to have a blended timetable. So I know persons in the YouTube chat were saying they want face-to-face -face class, but you know that is a process in us to get it. And I just want to remind persons that in order for us to get the go-ahead for face-to-face, -face, we have to get 65% of the student population vaccinated, 65% vaccinated, and we also willing here at the school level to set up a vaccination blitz. So I just encourage you to go on our FHS assignment page and to complete the form. So we have, if we have enough persons, we can have a blitz right here at Frontwood High School. Not stopping you from going to other blitz because I know there are other area sections of the island having it, but we have to ensure that we have 65% of you students vaccinated if we are going to be considered for face-to-face -face class. So I know you want face-to-face -face class, so I know you know what to do, all right? Technology infrastructure, when you come for face-to-face -face class, you'll be able to take your own device and you have to secure your own device, your laptop or your tablet. We will have wireless access across the plant in most areas of the plant. And we're in a process in working with the Ministry of Education to increase our internet bandwidth because currently we have roughly 130 here at Frank Wood High School. Now we're, we're slated to get an additional 200 more bandwidth through the Ministry of Education so that we can be able to provide seamless internet access here at Frank Wood High School. We continue to improve the plant infrastructures because you would have seen in the video the different projects we complete. 
We are also in the process of upgrading our electrical infrastructure and repairing our roofs scheduled to start this week, right? We want to improve our energy conservation practices. Our school was also selected to be on a project to convert all our lights, the fluorescent lights to LED. And we're also, we'll be getting solar panel here at Franco High School to conserve on our energy. So we're improving plans, putting plans in place to improve energy conservation practices in the school using renewable energy sources. I know that sun is also a renewable source and water harvesting, which we have actually started, right? So when there's no water in Claremont area, we at Franklin High School will still have water. And we have to enforce the school's maintenance plan to include basic standards of appearance, attractiveness, and cleanliness. So students, when we have our face-to-face -face classes, you have to keep the environment clean, right? We have to keep the environment clean. We can't throw garbage on the floor again. We use, some of you used to do it, but we know we're not going to do that anymore because we have to keep the environment clean and attractive. We will continue to improve student personal and social development through improved sports offerings, music, and performing arts. So we'll continue to establish partnership with your parents, past students, and business community. We want to utilize students' learning styles and preferences to revamp our current clubs and societies in the school. And we will continue to allow different student leadership groups to plan and implement programs. So our student council, the prefect body, the monitor, the safety and security ambassador, we will continue to work with them so that they will plan and implement program to engage our student more and to help them also to grow in their leadership skills as well. We want to prepare a future workforce that adopt better technologies to be more efficient with high quality standards and create new and innovative products through TVET and STEM education. So we want to introduce, we want to introduce robotics, digital animation, and we'll continue with the entrepreneurship at the grade nine level. We want to also increase some income in the school. So we continue to renovate our canteen and a talk shop to sell additional food items. We already have a chef in place and staff members with the required customer service and cleaner skills to revamp our canteen menu. Parental support, we need your participation, parents. So we're going to create a database of parents and guardians to include the skills that you can come in and help us here at Frontwood High School, because we want your input, we want your support. We want you to come and share your skills with us so we can have a better school. We'll continue to have our outreach programs interact with different stakeholders to reposition this school. So I will continue and my team will work with me, the teachers and staff, the board of management to engage other stakeholders, past students, community members, including business, police and church to strengthen our programs here at Fern Court High School. And we'll continue to market our school, right? So right now you're on our YouTube channel. That's one way of us sharing information with you, right? Educational videos. We're going to continue to use our social media platform, Facebook. I want you to go on Facebook, look for Frankwood High Schools and like our page because the one that we have with the friend, we already gone over 5,000. So you have to go and like us, Frankwood High School, right? On an education page so that you will still continue to keep abreast of what is happening in school. And we're also working towards a school website. So currently, you know, we have our assignment page, which I know most of you would have gone on and know which class you're in and what is the schedule for this week. So by December, we're looking at having our own website. So currently, we have our assignment page, sites.google.com forward slash view or backward slash FHS. Go into Google, type in FHS assignments, and you will find our page. We also, as I said, our YouTube channel that you are all on. See, we have additional videos there. So those 
persons who would have missed the grade seven orientation and the grade eight, you will find it on our YouTube channel. How we're going to get there? Teamwork, our shared vision, communication, capacity building, accountability, constant review and evaluation, that's how we're going to get there. Parents, students on the YouTube channel and other well-wishers. And, we, and I also want to say to you that in our interactions, I want you to understand, we want to be respectful of each other. We will have disagreement, but it's best that it's done in a respectful manner. Because if you want respect, I will give you respect. We want that to be a mutual understanding that we will all have disagreements, but it must be done in a respectful manner. So moving forward, parents, students, teachers, learning will happen at school, home, in the community, and beyond. So right now you're at home, you know, but learning will continue. So we're going to have student-led activities expert engagement. So sometimes you go on YouTube to watch a particular aspect, a topic. We engage other persons to come in, expert engagement and blend of real life and online learning. Now, I want to end because I'm concerned about those persons who are not online and they are the disadvantaged students which will need specific support. And that is something at the school level we are going to look at it carefully because we cannot let no one behind. We can't have persons who are not engaging. Our, so if, even if you can't get on online, there's other ways. The Ministry of Education is also having their different channels, right? I was reading a bulletin that I got from the ministry last night, which says that even if you just have the rabbit head, you still can pick up channels. So parents on the platform, I want you to go and see if you can pick up those channels. And give us a, your feedback to your form teachers and your grade coordinator. Let us know what is happening because we have a schedule that will tell you the topics that I will share with you this week, the different topics based on the channel, all right? So we want to incorporate the audio, the audio visual as part of our learning process taking place because we know that everybody might not have internet readily to be on our Google Classroom platform and so forth. So that's it in a nutshell, as we continue to reposition Fernport High School as a school of choice here in St. Anne. I know we have a lot to do and trust me, the team here at Fernport High School, our grade coordinator, heads of department, the culture agent, the guidance team, the health and family life team, the nurse, more like our nurse is engaged elsewhere today because knowing her should have been on this platform, but you know that they call on, on our school nurses to go and help in the vaccination, right? So we're here, the administrative staff, the ancillary staff, they're here to work with you as we continue to be persistent, resilient, and in the end, be excellent. Thank you. Guidance team. Before the guidance team come on, I want, I'm going to be sharing the link in the YouTube for you to click on it so that your names can be marked. It's a Google form. I want you to click on it so you can type in your first name, your last name, the grade that you're in. If you're not sure which class you're in, just click the option on a sign, right? Because we have to capture the attendance data today. So please, I'm going to put back the link back in the YouTube chat for you to click on it so that you're able to, we can record your name for today. Thank you and all the best for today. All right, thank you, Mr. Thomas. That's our principal right there. Big up yourself. Right now, because of time, we're going to go right in with our Dean of Discipline, Mrs. Howell. Mrs. Howell, with the pre, walk on. 
Good afternoon. Good morning. Good morning, colleagues. Good morning, students. Again, welcome to the new academic year. Parents that are supporting online, good to have you. Good to know that you are with us and that we'll be working together going forward. Now, today, I'm going to really be talking about some of the activities, the social development activities that can happen for um, students, for your child while they're at Fern Court. But before that, um, last year, we were privileged to have uh, Dr. Vivian Roberts, a past student and the author of Frankfurt High, 1938 to, two, to 2018, a story of enterprise access and opportunity, sharing the orientation of the new grade sevens. And she presented a message that I thought it was fitting that I share some of her words right before I go into the activities with you today. So in her view, Dr. Roberts stated that they, there are five dimensions of excellence and students, I hope you are writing and noting what I am saying. And those five dimensions were looking forward, looking inward, looking outward, looking upward and looking back. Looking forward. Now, whether you're a new student or a returning student, especially at a time when we are facing this global pandemic together, things are constantly changing and you are going to have challenges, much like how some of you would have mentioned in, in YouTube, on the YouTube today. And so with that, you're gonna have to set new goals and you have a choice. You can choose to stay in your shell of certainty or venture out in faith. You can stick with the people you know or the things that are familiar or take the risk of trying something new. You can drift along or set a goal and strive towards it. We believe the latter choices are the better choices. So choose to step out in faith and try something new. Looking inward. Your parents, and I'm speaking to my students now, your parents and teachers and friends know you, but nobody knows you better than yourself. You know what you like. You know what you dislike. You know your fears, your motivators, what is difficult and what is easy for you. You're the only one that knows what will embarrass you and again, what will bring you delight. So I want to encourage you to look inward often and learn more about yourself. And when you do that, use your talents, use your skills, what you're good at, what comes easy to you, build on them, improve on them, and use them to the fullest. At the same time, learn what your limitations are and work on improving them, and then factor those into your subject selections, your career choices, and use that as you go through your pathway at Front Court High School to be the best you, you can be. Today, there are unlimited options. Doors are open everywhere. Even as we speak, due to what is happening in the world, new opportunities are being created. So whether you dance, whether you sing, whether you play sports, whether you are scientific and investigative, find out who you are and work on building those skills. Number three, look outward. No man is an island, no man stands alone. Each man's joy is joy to me and each man's grief is our own. So much we have to unite together and come together in this world. And even though your success will be dependent. It's, it's not going to be dependent on just you working by yourself or working for yourself, but more so with working with others. All the time people say, one hand can't clap. So as you move along your path, realize that others will bring their own skills, their own talents, their own perspectives, and add to solutions of any presenting problem. It is also true that helping others will bless both the giver and the receiver. Number four, look upwards. 
if you now, if you look up now, you might see a ceiling. If you're outside, you will see the sky. But if you look up, look up figuratively, trust your better instinct and your nobler self, you will find God. Whether you're a Christian, Rastafarian, Muslim, or belong to some other faith-based group, recognize that there is a power higher than you. And it is that power that will enable you to love others as you love yourself and to serve and guide you to make better choices and support you in times of need and sadness. Look upwards. It will improve how you see and do as you look forward, inward, and outward. Finally, number five, looking backwards. And it may sound redundant, looking backwards at the past. But know this, knowledge of the past can show you the possibilities for the future. At Fern Court, the school, it has a legacy of producing many outstanding graduates, scientists, athletes who are Olympians, public servants, educators, some of your teachers, many who work at Fern Court are past students, leaders, political leaders, our very own um, Minister of Education is a past student from Fern Court High School. So you, they were all in the same position you are in now. They had to start somewhere. They started at Fern Court. They made choices at Fern Court. And they learned from whatever they did to move forward. And you can do it now. You can do it as well. So in that sense, and with that spirit, I want to tell you that don't be afraid to embrace or to join or to try something new. And I'm speaking outside of the classroom now. If you are a leader or you want to be a leader, there is so many opportunities here because you all lead personally by setting an example first and obeying the rules. But we have traditional leadership. We have non-traditional leadership. Traditional as such as the prefects or monitors or student counselors or house captains, um, presidents for clubs and societies, leaders of uniform groups, but there's also our safety and security ambassadors. We have our peer counselors group. We have student tutors. So there are many opportunities for you to utilize your skills, step up your game and get involved in school activities. We have extracurricular activities apart from field trips. There are a lot of clubs and societies that you can get involved in, volunteer your services to. Um, the uniform groups. I know that last year it was a little rocky getting some of these groups online and, and getting the, the whole social movement going, but we are going full speed this year. So I encourage you, you have the uniform groups, the cadet force. We hope to revitalize our girl guides. We have the Jamaica Red Cross. You would have met, met Miss Gentles earlier on, who is in charge of that. Um, we have the the Caribbean Merchant Marine Cadet Corps. There is music and choir. If you're a scientific person, there's science and environment. Modern languages have their own clubs. So many different activities. We have the Jamaica Moves in School Club, which is formerly known as the Hyde Club. We have debate and public speaking. I believe we'll have our Geographical Society Club online. So many things, ISCF. Um, just, just a whole host of activities that we will introduce you to, and we will be sending out these forms so you can submit to know who is interested in being a membership of this group, this being part of this group. Apart from that, the school calendar presents um, a lot of other activities for you to be involved in. We usually celebrate the Jamaica Day. We have, um, you know, Christmas and Easter services church services throughout the year for, to commemorate different occasions. For those of you who like sports, there, there are ISA competitions that you can get involved in. So just a whole host of activities. So when you come to school, come to an open mind, whether it's face-to-face -face or online, we're going to have some real-time engagement for you. And so I want you to encourage you, parents, I want to say this to you now, because I, I have come upon this several times in the past. I've said it to the students, 
they know themselves, if they have the talent, if they have the drive, encourage them to use it in a positive way. If they can't sing, let them sing. If they can't DJ, let them DJ. If they can't dance, let them dance. If they want to play sports, let them play sports. If it is that they are into the computer, into the gaming, then let us channel that into positive ways. If they are into inventing and building stuff, let us do that. Let us encourage our children to use their skills. And we are hoping this year to bring on a lot of trial skills workshop. We're going to be working with our partner agencies in bringing new things, not only to all our students, but also to our teachers. And so I'm looking forward to that. That's my pre this year. Really looking forward to everybody stepping up the game, learning something new, bringing something new to the table. And that is my pre for this morning. I know I'll see you again tomorrow when we start talking about Google Classroom and how to get access to those codes and all those things. But today, I want you to just look at yourself, whether you're looking out, in, up, reflecting, you know, taking what was said in devotion and coming down and just realize that you are special. You have something to bring to the table and we welcome it. So thanks for that, Miss Ellis. I'm going back to you. Hey, we're winning right now, boys and girls. First day of back to school. Thank you, Mrs. Howell. That is our dean of discipline. First, I want to say congratulations to Ryan from 10F. Ryan, we're having trouble with the last name. So if it is that you can call in, giving your number to call in, I will send it in the chat. Miss Park. So Miss Park, what a pre you all go on to the chat. Talk to us. What are students Hello. saying? We are still loving the vibe, still enjoying things. There are some questions that they have regarding school, but the basic vibe, the, the pre is still there, you know, it's still up. So there's still that little bit of nervousness going on, but it's starting to wear off. So hopefully by the time we're checking out, that nervousness for the first day will have gone and they will continue to be able to say they're living no one that they're still loving their life. So I'm still continuing to monitor the chat and I know that there are persons who want to find out what the giveaway was it? because we never did tell them what was the giveaway, only who won. So they need to know what the giveaway is. My apologies, it's Rihanna, um, 10F. So you'll be getting a bag, and in that bag, you'll be getting one of the Fernpour High School masks. Are you seeing it? Oh, it's upside down. Yes, yes, so keep those. Make sure that you're listening to our questions and answering them right on time. We have phone cards given away, so stay tuned. At this time, especially our grade seven students, and of course our grade eight students, well, everybody, we want to know what is Fern Court like, where, what are some of the buildings. So at this point, Mr. Thomas, Mr. Thompson rather, will be walking us through a virtual school tour. Say so I know, even though chop, me know Fern Court already, people. A lot of improvement. What if what if nice are going up a friend court? So, Mr. Thamo, Thompson, are you there? Mr. Thompson, are you there? What a going with the free? Virtual school tour, Mr. Thompson. Okay, Mr. Fullerton, I see you, I see you, I have yours. Oh my God, Mr. Tomo, they say that you're lost. Where are you, Mr. Thompson? 
And for those who don't know, Mr. Thompson is one of our guidance counselors here at Franklin High School. Students, let us know what are you looking forward to uh, when you come back to school. What are what is one of the things you're definitely looking forward to? Let me know in the comment section below. Let us know. All right, seem as if Mr. Thompson got up for minutes or two. pre going on right now in the YouTube chat. There are persons asking about sports and I keep seeing football coming up. Football, football, football. So can one of our PE teachers or Mr. Thomas or one of our VPs put our students' mind to some ease, to some rest? Settle the question. Will there be sports this year? What form is it going to take? What is it that we have to offer this year in terms of sports? A lot of students are asking, what about sports? What about football? All right, I will take that on. Thanks, Ms. Sparks. All right, in terms of our sports program, what I want our students, parents, other stakeholders to understand that we would have been out of the Costa Cup for over 10 years, over 10 years. So we have to start from scratch. So there's a program in place. Hopefully, a face-to-face -face activity can take place because we had plans last year, but it's just only the grade 11 students were able to come to school. But if things go according to plan, and we're able to have grade 7 to 11 at school, we also put a program in place so we can start doing the recruitment, the under 14, the under 16 level, so that we can start build up the program. So we're still thinking about having football. We still have that plans in place. It's just that because we have been out of the, the program for a good while, we have to actually now start in from scratch. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Thomas. And as you were talking, persons also were asking about netball and basketball. They were asking about those as well. So I think the general question students have and parents have is are we having sports are we having a sports program this year and is it going to be vibrant because we're starting high with this kind of vibes and we're asking what a pre part of the pre this year sir or students sports right and i and i agree i, I agree with that because sports is part of life it's part of our culture and heritage here also at Franco high school so the netball basketball so what we're going to do now is that since persons are showing interest in basketball because you know while well, i hear person asking about basketball so that's new information for us so i would mind getting some contact if we have persons who can help us in terms of the basketball program right because we have our past students they are ready to work with us what is limited us, um, parents answer is that because we're not getting to see you on the compound, it's kind of having some limitation, even on the PE teachers as well, to know certain skills and so forth. So hopefully, because we know that our parents and students want to ensure that we get our 65% vaccination rate so that we can have the face-to-face -face class so that with the PE teachers know will be able to can do their recruitment, can do their recruitment and expand the training and so forth so we can expand our sports offering. So I like the vibes, I like the interest in other sports areas. That's music to my ear. So we're just now going to capitalize on that, praying that we're going to get some public face-to-face -face classes so we can start identifying person, doing some training and work towards that goal. 
Okay, thank you so much, Sir T, for responding to that. Thank you so much. You're back welcome. Over to you, Miss Ellis, back over to you. All right, all right. Now we're going to head things over. Thank you, Mr. Thomas, for that information. So send in your questions. We'll try our best to answer as much as possible. Now we're going to move things over to Mr. Thompson, who is one of our guidance counselors here at Frankfurt High School, and he will be driving us through our virtual school tour. Thank you, Miss Ellis. All right, so good morning again to everyone. All right, so let us start off the virtual tour. All right, um, I know that. All right, so what we're looking at is is in terms of our auditorium, right? The nurses' quarters, um, nurse uh, nurses' quarter, as well going into the, the nurse's station right there All right no we're heading no further into the school um, as you can see there is a wash station right there and over there is a play field the sports area football field we're looking on to some classroom right there is to the side of where the chemistry physics labs are and right there so students as you know under that big tree right there so that we have close by yes as well as the tuck shop area now this area right here when you guys come to school is that area is going to be transformed students that area is going to be transformed a gazebo classrooms stuff like that we're looking at some classrooms right there um, over there were the up at the top part was the grade 11 so you had some No, that's 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 mean hall also official block mean hall um, And we are going into the principal's office it's so when, when you enter right here you are going to be seeing uh, Miss Eddie and Miss Trish All right the principal quarters also again so that is same in the principal office right there and of course our finch tank and uh, our finch fish tank era this era is going to be new to some persons and we have a waterfall there mr anderson feeding the fish and the turtles and stuff all right Whereas looking at, at this is the chemistry lab, chemistry lab, and of course this is the, do the document center. Students, you can come right here in terms of um, printing stuff, getting um, things printed. Business department. All right, thank you guys so very much. All right, thank you, Mr. Thompson. Excellent um, virtual school tour. And of course, a lot of developments are taking place. So I'm sure, especially our returning students. Yeah, man, a lot of you are going to be shocked, shocked, shocked. So just stay tuned and with us. So right now, we're going to dive into our Coping with Change or Social Activity with Miss Patricia White. And she's our newest member here in the Guidance and Counseling Department. Miss White, are you with us? Yes, I am, Miss Ellis. Good morning. Thank you. Okay, everyone, welcome back to school, everyone, and good morning. So it may not be what you expected. This is a change for everyone. So grade sevens, you're moving from primary school to high school, big change. Grade seven to grade eight, it's a big change for you as well. Grade eight to grade nine, big change. Grade nine to grade 10, big change. But listen, man, grade 10 to grade 11, bigger change. So 
The idea is, you get the idea, guys. Everybody is going through some measure of change. For some of us, change is exciting. Right now, there's somebody who's feeling very excited, looking forward to what will happen and how they are going to do in school. That is an excellent attitude. However, there are others of us, there are other persons who may be feeling a little scared, a little nervous right now as they are listening. They may be feeling this way. And I want to tell you, it is okay for you to feel this way. Nothing is wrong, you're not strange. It is a normal reaction to change. Boys and girls, colleagues, parents, all, change is normal. But what we want to learn today is how to embrace change and how to cope with change. So the first point I want to say is that we need to be grateful. You know, we need to develop an attitude that we are grateful. So we have to count our blessings. Yes, things are not what we want and things aren't going the way we plan them. But guess what? We have to have the right mindset and we have to decide that, man, I am going to be grateful. Now I want you to text for me. What is one thing you are very grateful for now? You can text it in the YouTube group. What is one thing you are grateful for? And whatever that one thing is, I want you to keep it in mind because gratitude is a good attitude to have. So our first point, and the first thing I want you to declare to yourself, I am grateful. Hmm? I am grateful. I am grateful. So that's the first point I want you to text. I want you to say, I want you to declare it wherever you are. I am grateful. The next step to embracing change is to keep a positive attitude. Listen, man, positivity is the way to go. Some of us are professional complainers. Professional complainers. We find a problem, we find a fault with everyone and everything. However, today I want to encourage us to have a positive attitude. Listen. Nobody is positive all the time, and nobody's going to be positive, be in a positive mood all the time. It, it takes effort and it takes a mind change. So, together online, we're getting ready to learn, we're getting ready to go into a new experience. Yes, man, I want you to text for me. No matter what happens, I will keep a positive attitude. Hmm? I will keep a positive attitude. It is possible, boys and girls, and I want us to agree today that first of all, we are going to be grateful. Secondly, we are going to keep a positive attitude, man. No matter what comes up, we keep a positive attitude. And number three, sorry about that. Our next step would be in dealing with change is to have patience. Yes, man, and being kind to yourself and to others. Hmm? Be patient and kind, right? Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. We will not figure out everything immediately. And you will not grasp all the concepts in class, grade seven students, grade eight, grade nine, grade 10 students, grade 11 students. You will not grasp everything immediately, right? While you're learning but we have to develop this attitude of patience. And patience goes with determination too. I didn't get it right. I couldn't figure it out immediately. So I will be patient and kind to myself and I will keep trying until I get it. Yes, man, patience, kindness. For you talk to others, what we say about others. Eh? Be kind with our words, our deeds, and even our thoughts. Listen, man, because if others could look into some of us heads, some of our heads right now, they would be shocked at some of the things that we are thinking about ourselves and sometimes about others. Eh? So we want to have kindness. We want to have that attitude of patience. So again, I want you to text for me for this school year. I promise to be patient and kind in all I attempt to do. No rush, rush, no slap dash, not just 
do things without thinking or planning and going through it carefully. You have to take care in what you're doing, in what we say and how, about, how we go about things. Eh? So I promise to be patient. I'm a little impatient sometimes, you know, so I'm talking to myself here. I promise to be patient and kind in all I attempt to do. Are we together? Right. So, and finally, boys and girls, I'm not going to bore you, you know. And finally, boys and girls, our last point for learning to embrace change is be accepting and respectful of others and yourself. You can't respect people and you don't respect yourself. Yes, man. So we are going to have that attitude. The world is so big. It can't be about you alone. And how you want to take up all this space in the world. No, it's not possible. So we have to have this attitude of being respectful and being accepting. So we ought to learn to agree. You don't have to agree with everything somebody is saying. But you're going to have to learn to respect them. Eh? Respect their opinion, respect their point of view when you're in class together, when you're learning online, or even when you come back face to face, someone says something in class, you don't agree, you don't have to insult the person or say something derogatory and negative. No man, regardless, we want to not tear down anyone or tear up anyone. I don't know if you know how to tear up, but a lot of persons know how to tear up others. We don't want to push that this year. We want to be respectful and be accepting of ourselves and others as we embrace change. Another time, we are going to look at self-control because self-control plays a very important role in embracing change and coping with change. It was my pleasure sharing with you and can we just review the four key points? Can anybody text them to me, please? Um, the first one, be grateful. Text it, man. Keep a positive attitude. Be patient and kind with yourself and others. And last but not least, be accepting and respectful. Miss Parks and Miss Ellis, did anybody get it in the chat there? Could anybody get the four points? Let us see. It was my pleasure, boys and girls. We're going to have a wonderful school year as we embrace change and as we learn how to cope with change. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss White. Coping with change, indeed. The messages on YouTube, as you were asking them to type, they were typing. And I was reading as they came and overwhelming response to your first point. What are you grateful for? The overwhelming response, gratitude for life. That was the most overwhelming response. Some persons were grateful for food, for strength, for individuals, but the overwhelming response was gratitude for life. And of course, they did not hesitate to say, yes, I am grateful for life. Yes, I will be patient. Yes, I will be respectful. So they were very much interactive. I promise to be patient and kind in all that I attend to do. Keep a positive attitude. So indeed, they were paying attention, Miss White. So thank you so much for bringing these points to our attention. All together, everyone who was in the chat, got all four points that you were making. Have an attitude of gratitude. Keep a positive attitude. Have patience and be kind and be accepting and respectful of self and others. Thank you once again for bringing that to us in this segment. Yes, Miss Kayla White, grateful, patient and kind. I promise to be kind. And they're still coming in, even as we're here talking. They're still coming You're in. You're welcome. You're welcome. They're still coming in. So thank you so much. Over back to you, Miss Ellis. That's Nesbed success story. All right. So here's another time for another chance to win. Not a chance to win. So I'm going to ask two questions this time. Are you ready? Miss Paul, let me know if they're ready. Ask 
ask him two questions. Ready, ready up, ready up. All right. The Mr. first Ace. question. The first. Some persons, some persons are ready, but not everybody is ready. There are some persons who are still responding to the segment that we just ended on coping. Okay. So just give them a moment to just finish sending in those messages, and then they are ready to move with the prizes. So we need to know what the giveaways are this time, I think. So that, yes, all right, I'm starting to get the ready now. <laughs> ready, 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 all ready. Right. ready. So they are ready. So go ahead, Miss Ellis. All right, so the next giveaway, you'll be getting a bag pack. So when you have like your PE gears, you can, you know, take it in the bag pack courtesy of the guidance department and of course another mask and a water bottle water bottle and 100 dollars credit whether it is digital or flow so you'll be getting one two three four things this time so for the four things that you are getting the question is let's see how well you are paying attention so of course our dean of discipline would have given a presentation hope you are listening listening and should have mentioned five dimensions of excellence what are the five dimensions of excellence anybody uh, one two three it's four right so for the four things that you're going to win you need to know what are the four what are the four dimensions okay the questions are coming in Franklin High School producer is talking to me. So. <laughs> so we have to get the question right. So it is five dimensions of excellence. So I'm going to go ahead and state one. It says looking forward. What are the other four? Let me see if our students here at Franklin High School were indeed paying attention. And we have we have Theodore Green. We have Theodore Green who has given all of them at once, all five at once, looking forward, looking inward, looking outward, looking upward, and looking backward. So Theodore Green, congratulations. Theodore Green, excellent. Congratulations, Theodore. Yes. Woo! That's the story. Hey, way to go, way to go. Congratulations, Theodore Green. Well done, well done. All right, and our next question, our next question. Now, Mr. Thomas, our principal, will have interviewed some new teachers. Yes. So if it is that you can name at least, how many, Mrs. Miss Park, how many? How many gifts do you have left? All right, so one, we have one more, two more gifts leave. A mask right. and a hundred dollar call credit. All right, so can we save the name? At least two new teachers. At least two guys. Come on, At come on. Two. two. Should, uh, should, wait, we should be clear or no? Want to be clear? So should they just say call the last name or should we want them to tell us the, the entire name? What do you think? What do you pray? Let me hear what you think, Miss Miss Park. The full name the or pre, the, just the, the last The pre name? is. The pre is. The pre is we ask them to listen carefully, pay attention, and make sure they have their pens and their pencils ready to write. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. my pre, my pre is that you tell me the first name and the last name of two new teachers. That's my hey, pre. That's not bad. Pre? Yes, it's What's true. That's not bad. Yes. And here at Frank Court, you know, we preach excellence, right. you know. And for you to get an excellent grade, it All has right. to be two out of two, 100%. Anybody commenting, Miss Park? All right, hold on, hold on. I was getting some last names, so let me go back up to the top and see. Just a second, because we are clarifying, and we say first and last name. First and last name, right. So I'm getting a first name here, a last name, first name only. All right, coming down. Only last name. Okay, I got one first name and last name, but then I only got a last name for the second person. Mm -hmm. These teachers are not new. Are not new teachers. All right. Only last name. Only one name here. Coming down the list. Coming down the list. Okay. 
All right. So we want to give you full marks. Have you seen any full marks so far? Hold on, hold on. I'm only seeing last names for a lot of these persons, you know, Miss Ellie. So what a pre? Are the we pre? changing no. the pre? Are we government name? Government name. Two names. All right. All right. I'm only getting one name. So guys. Which is the name you're getting? Whose name? Anybody. Let me go play a little music in the background in the meantime. So while you're busy in the chat, hearing that we're only seeing returning um, teachers' names, one of the new teachers that were introduced to us this morning. Mr. Thompson. Mr. Thompson? Yes, Miss Ellis. How we chat? What the pre in the chat? All right, all right. So let me look, let me look and see what exactly is happening in the chat because our te our students them them are going a whole lot. All right, so let us see. I am seeing All right, so Miss Miss um, Miss Park got kicked off just now. So um, Miss Gentles here, she's helping us. She's saying somebody gave DeAndre Harrison, Miss Akilia Cousins. Uh, what's the name, Miss Gentles? We need a name. Name. She gave that, and oh, DeAndre Harris gave Miss Akilia Cousins. So that's one one teacher. So she needs to give us another teacher in order for her to get the prize. So Deandra Harrison has a Miss Miss Patricia White and Miss Akilia Cousins. Mm -hmm. Um Deandra sorry, not Deandra White, Deandra Harris, my apologies. Deandra Harris. And we have we have um Javier Pink. Mm -hmm. So Javier Javier I'll, I'll, all right, so he got the first name wrong, however, he got the last name correct. Exactly. And the second answer, Jordan Garvey. Yes, mm -hmm. he got that correct. Should we give it to him? Counselors, help me out. Yes, yes, give it to him. Yeah, get, all right. So congratulations, Javier Pink. And if I'm correct, Javier Pink is actually going into grade eight right now. So let me know if that is the same Javier Pink. Congratulations, Javier. That's Miss Beth, success story. We all have a success story. And we are writing our success story. So, Javier Pierre. Thank you. 
So we have four more $100 call credits. And for those, and this, I want a grade seven student to answer. A grade seven student. All right? Grade seven student. If you can name at least two grade coordinators, it doesn't matter which grade, if you can name at least two grade coordinators, you will get this prize, $100 call credit, whether it's flow or digital. So this has to be a grade seven student, guys. Grade seven. So I'm sure that we're writing down the names of the winners. So call credit and I have one more bottle. So $100 call credit. So they have flow, RG, the cell, and of course a water bottle. It's, it is. We seem to have a winner here, um, Ralph Garden. Ralph Garden, Gordon. Um, he said Miss Melissa Reed, and he also have Mrs. Reed as well too. All, so, right. All right. So just to confirm, that student is in grade seven right now. We want to confirm that you know. Ellis? Okay, we're going to be doing Miss Howell. Ellis? Mrs. Howell? Yes, we're gonna bring back Mr. Thomas. Okay, but okay. before I have one student, Shaini, a live student who are just checking with Shaini. Shaini, are you there with us, Shaini? Oh, it's a little bit low. Let me turn it up. So, Shaini, we are checking in with you. How was your summer, Shaini? Great, miss. Great. Okay, wonderful. And what is it that you're looking forward the most? Okay. All right, Shaini, we're hearing a little bit of a feedback. So could you just turn off the audio for a little bit and then talk to us on the device right here? Shiny, you hearing me now? Yes. 
All right, so that shiny and shiny is currently going into grade eight. So I was asking you, shiny, what is it that you're looking forward to the most? I um, mean, you know, coming back to school. Um, the better of everything, like my grades. Oh, so you want to improve your grades? That's nice. That's wonderful. Anything else? Not really. Not really. All right. Thank you for answering my call, Shiny. And I hope you're staying tuned and listening attentively, Shiny. Thank you so much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was Shiny. And Shiny is currently going into grade eight. So she's telling me that she's in 8N right now. Congratulations, Shiny. Mr. Thomas, are you there with us? Okay, Mr. Thomas. Over to you, Mr. Thomas. All right, thank you, God and Steam, for holding the badge. For holding it down for us here at Frankport High School first day. We are wrapped up and ready to go. Just want to share with you some of the activities for the rest of the week here at Frankport High School. So we're still in our back to school, what the pre, with the guy that's seen doing a good job so far. So after we finish this activity at 12 noon, then you know that's it for the students for today. Because at 1 p.m. now, our heads of departments now will meet with their subject teachers to start the planning process as we get ourselves ready for the academic year 2021-2022. Tomorrow morning, Tuesday, September 7, 2021, we'll have general devotion at 8 a.m., same place here on the YouTube channel. So make sure you come and get a good word. Trust me, I have a surprise for you. Tomorrow, I have a special host. We'll be doing general devotion tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. at 9 a.m. Then no, we'll have a, some sensitization sessions for to our online platforms and our standard rules. So we're going to be looking at Google Classroom, My School Jamaica, FHS assignment page, and our assessment policy. And that section will be done by a team lead by the examination and ICT coordinator from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. tomorrow. Then at 11.10, AM, our Dean of Discipline will be back with us and she will do the online rules and also the SWPB session. The SWPB, they will learn more about that tomorrow from 11, 10 AM to 12, 30. Then, so our session will end 12, 30 tomorrow. 12, 30 tomorrow will end that session. So Wednesday morning, we'll have general devotion again from 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. At 8.45 a.m., we'll have grade meetings. So your grade coordinators will meet with you by grades on Wednesday from 8.45 a.m. to 10 a.m. At 11, so we're going to be breaking a bit early Wednesday at 10 but we might have to, we might find an activity to include here Wednesday from 11 to one where the, the HODs are meeting. We'll think of some activities. So we'll talk, you will get more information tomorrow. On Thursday, that's September 9, 2021, from 7.50. So now we're actually going into our timetable now. So at 7.50 a.m., we have registration and form devotion from 7.50 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. And our classes begins at 8.30 on Wednesday and going right up until 2.30 p.m. on Thursday. On Friday, same thing, registration, but this time registration is from 7.50 a.m. to 8 a.m. 
with your form teachers. And then we have general devotion again at 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. And then our classes again resume at 8.30 a.m. So before we go into the classes for Thursday, we want to ensure that all our students know how to go on the different platforms also have their ID in terms of activating the My School Jamaica account. Our new students, as it relates to our the MOE account from their primary school, be transferred to Front Court High School. All that process will be done between now and Wednesday, so that when we begin on Thursday, you know what to do. Remember our timetables are on the assignment page. And also, if you don't, if your name is not on your class list, we will pick up that if you complete the Google form with the registration, we will pick up that information so that we can get that rectified in time. All right. We also want you to be mindful, parents and students, because I know parents are tuning in to our back to school special, that usually the first week is going to be a challenge, right? The transition, especially our new students, going to be some challenges. So I want you just to be patient with us during this time. When certain things not working out, just be patient with us. Because even this morning, even when my teachers are coming on, some of them are having internet issues already from where they are. So I want you to be mindful, and I even know that some of your parents and students might have internet challenges as well. So let us see this as a, we're going to use this week, especially to see how we can tighten certain things up. So there are going, going to be some gaps and some challenges, but we just have to be patient with each other. We just have to be patient with each other so that we'll be able to do a job well done. We are here to serve you. We are here to serve you, but prepare yourself that there are going to be times when we're going to have some challenges. Right. So that's our schedule for this week. As we get to ourselves ready to hear from one of our own, because we can't say it's our own, because he does a lot of work with our programs here at Fern Court High School. As we get ourselves to have him, let us just play some music, Miss Ellis, as we get ready for our next presenter. <laughs> Okay, Cersei, before you go, you can you just confirm that our guest speaker will be coming? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Agent Sasko in the building, credits to him. So Jeremy Johnson is joining in now.
Pastor Jeremy Johnson is no stranger to Fernport High School. He's a vibrant, motivational speaker, and also the pastor groups for the Brownstone Seventh-day Adventist churches. He believes in education and motivation, and he will. I know that this morning he will. I nearly said tear the house down, <laughs> but uh, he will give us some vibes as we get ready for the new school year. Pastor Johnson, over to you. Pastor Johnson. While Pastor Johnson gets settled, let's get us know when you're ready, Pastor Johnson. ready when you are. Over to you, Pastor Johnson. Okay, thank you so much, Principal Thomas. Never know that I was on. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all. I'm so delighted to be with you here this morning to join you for your orientation and to see what's the pre over here at the Fern Court High School. I greet you well. And I also want to hail up those who are joining us over there on YouTube. I know that a number of you are over there watching as well. So big up yourselves, you know, and welcome to the virtual orientation because, you know, it doesn't matter what situation we're in, we can always exercise the persistence, the resilience, the excellence. Nothing can stop us from growing because we know that challenges do not come to extinguish us. They come to distinguish us. If you have nothing that brings pressure into your life, that forces you out of your comfort zone, you will never be able to take it to another level so that you're actually able to see how much potential and how much you know aspiration that is dwelling in you. You have to learn how to accept that even though things may not work out the way that you prefer, sometimes you still have to up the game and still turn out like a boss because whatever God takes you to, he can take you through. So greetings for in court and a happy new school year to you. Can you imagine we're right here at the 2021-2022 school year? Not the type of outcome we were expecting. We were truly anticipating that by now things would have really improved improved and would have gone face to face but instead of face to face the only thing I'm looking at now is space to space people's names in the spaces and for those in the Zoom who can come on camera, please come on the camera so I can at least see some reactions and know that you are receiving my interactions. You know, it, it makes the presentation better. Look at Marison, nice hairstyle. Johnson, how are you? going to keep that nice hair off camera. It needs to be seen. Thank you so much, Johnson. Oh, well, so those who can come on camera for the next few minutes, please do so because you will help me to feel as if, hey, you're not alone in the building. You are talking to real people and not just devices. It makes a whole lot of difference in communication. So for the 600 and odd of you over there on Facebook, you see she look nice on YouTube. Just look at how she look nice right there. So now on the side of me on the camera. Yes, man. And for those who are in the, 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 the Zoom room, 
Now, this morning, I am just going to get right to the meat of the matter. You know my style by now. I believe that a great speech is like a mini skirt, long enough to cover the subject, short enough to create excitement. So it doesn't have to be long in order to be strong. I focus, therefore, on the strength of my speech as opposed to the length of my speech. Good to see you, Franklin Bailey, looking beautiful daily. You know, the ladies have to take a moment to get themselves titivated before they come on camera. Don't let them fool you and cause you to believe that they they were searching for the camera button to unpause. They know exactly where to find it. They have to take another double check and ensure that everything is intact. We know the ropes to them. <laughs> All right. So as we're here today, uh, parents, teachers, students, a new school year, and we are still in the midst of the pandemic, you know, you were hoping that things would have improved significantly by now, would have not had to deal with a disaster of such uh, for such a long period of time. If it were a hurricane, would have cleaned up a long time, built back a long time. Miss Powell, good to see you looking well. But guess what? This one is here to stay. And it's not automated because if we could have pressed the button and cancel coronavirus, then you you should know Fern Court High School that Corona cancel a long time. But some things, regardless of your best efforts, regardless of your planning, regardless of the structures you put into place, you just can't mitigate them right off the bat. But that is what life is about. You have to know that you ought to be resilient, which is the quality of pressing on even when things are not working out the way you had hoped or the way you had planned. To persist means that something is resisting. You cannot persist on, unless something resists. And that is why these qualities have always been there. And in terms of excellence, you cannot excel at something unless it challenges you. <laughs> boy are you following me now so in other words if you are going to catch the pre you definitely need some challenges in your life and remember now mr fullerton the challenges do not come to extinguish you don't call the fire department the, the challenges come to distinguish you to set you apart in other words it is when you have difficulties pressing on every side and yet you are able to bring yourself together and to make the best of your situation Situation, are you truly a challenger? Somebody say challenger. I want you to understand that if you are going to make it, boys and girls, for this new school year, you've got to be fit. Somebody say fit. Don't unmute. Just type it in the chat. F-I-T. If you are going to make it in this school year, you've got to be fit. That's what I'm talking about. Fit as a fiddle. What is the fit? You've got to be focused, intelligent, and tenacious. Ah, come on now, we're going to be breaking it down. I say if you're going to make it, You've got to be fit. You've got to be focused. I was wondering when you were going to come on camera, Miss Gentles, you know, focused, intelligent, and tenacious. And if you notice these words, they are all in keeping with the pre, not in the same order, but I will uh, corroborate them in the end of it. Yes, sir. Over there on YouTube, I see that Atbox is fit. I see that Michaelia Brown is fit. Tina Tomlin is fit. Britannia Sewell is fit. Come on, keep the fitness going. If you are going to make Make it, you've got to be fit. Students, you've got to be focused. And the reason you need to be focused is because there are so many distractions. And even COVID-19 is a distraction. Not that it doesn't require our attention, but the whole matter is that you've got to ensure that regardless of what is going around, going on around you, you do not get distracted from what's going on inside you. Hello? Mm -hmm. Because some things are external and others are internal. Do I have any cook in the building? Let me talk to you, Patricia White. The same hot water that we use to harden eggs, we use it to soft for potatoes. At the end of the day, it's not just what you're in, but how you are in it. Am I talking truth? And when you put coffee beans, instead of the hot water taking over, the coffee beans take over. <laughs> you can dominate even in the situation that was not meant to work out to your favor or your best interest. So when you cannot change your circumstances, uh, then change the way you focus or the way you relate to your circumstances. Uh, don't allow the hot water to crush you out like mashed potato. Don't allow the hot water to simply have you there, you know, that's the soft out and flatten out. Uh, you need to harden like an egg uh, so that you can bring about life, an embryo of success amidst your challenges. Uh, you need to be like them coffee beans. I don't drink coffee, but this is a positive example from the coffee. 
You need to dominate that hot water and show that, hey, you can attest me. I am a friend court son or daughter. Because when you have to make it, you just have to get yourself together and be what fit. Focused. Do not be distracted by the fact that you cannot get to school in the physical space for the face to face like you'd have loved. But know that whereas you are not able to learn in line, lining up at school, you know, you are able to learn online. Come on, somebody. Yes. And anywhere you take it, learning is taking place. Just as how I'm able to interact with you in the virtual space like I'm doing now, you are able to interact in the physical space. Either one works. Nothing takes away way, however, the beauty of being in a physical environment where you can see real people and interact with them. But when we can't change what we are going through, we change the way. We respond to it. Come on, somebody. So you can still see Kina Thompson face, even though there's no physicality here. You can still see Ruben Fullerton. You can still see Donna Woolrey McKenzie. That means uh, we have uh, a solution to the problem. Because when you are focused, uh, you do not dwell too long on the problem. That will make the problem more problematic. Uh, instead, uh, you focus on the solution. You could sit around all day and say, well, I wish we did in a class from this corona thing across is um, everybody is in the crosses together so let us cross it together <laughs> and know that it is challenges cliff i'm um, challenging cliff to i'm like saying to you nobody cannot cross it only those who understand it you understand it so you can cross it and let me get a little deeper now biologically you know that vaccination is really introducing a strain of a virus or disease into a person's system so that the immune system can identify it and put in its scientists uh, in, in, into practice internally to build up an internal vaccination, if you may, so that if the thing ever comes back, them say, yes, man, a long time here we pay you. Come here, boy. Might I apply the whole matter from a, um, in, a, in a psychological way? I have come to conclude that not only do you have biological vaccination, are you ready for this one now, Mrs. Gentles, but you also have um, situational vaccination. And what am I saying? Now, having been in a situation for a year and a half, you would have mentally grown to better treat with it than you were able at the beginning. Come on, somebody. I am situationally vaccinated. <laughs> Students, you need to know that your situational vaccination, you don't have to get it from Pfizer. They can't give it to you. Moderna can't give it to you. Janssen can't give it to you. Covax can't give it to you. AstraZeneca can't give it to you. It is right here in your mentality. What is the brand? What is the brand? Mind. <laughs> it's all about the mindset. You've got to stay what focused. All the things you've learned over the last year and a half is going to make this school year much better. I know. You do not have to struggle how to come in Google Meet, Google Classroom, how to come in Zoom. Hello? You do not have to struggle. Miss, where do I find the on you? But Miss, how do I upload? Miss, how do I send email? Sir, I don't know how to turn on the camera. Sir, sir, how do I access the Google form? Your boss. <laughs> Having been in it for a year and a half, teachers have become more tech, tech savvy. Focus. Come on, somebody. Students have become more tech savvy. Everybody has made improvement. Have you seen how some person came on camera at the start of the pandemic when we were using online. <laughs> they were a true example of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. Behold the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. <laughs> and why is that so? <laughs> because they never understood the dynamics of camera and how it works with lights. So when the camera sees light, then it's going to be stimulated to darkness. So when you had the window behind you and all these things, it was a bit dark. If you look, for example, I'm done away with Mackenzie. We're still seeing her, but because of the light emanating from her door, you know, you are um, behind her, then you realize that it is darkening her. Look pan rocks and oh, she has shot him at the place. She bright like a diamond, you know. Look at Joe and Franklin Bailey. Look for Marissa Johnson, the well, you know, all them trophy in the background and thing, you know, come to the girl, you know, why? Because we have learned. 
at the beginning of it, you know, some of us look on Principal Thomas, I go like in there for the windows a fake background. <laughs> That's what I mean. We have learned how to adapt. That is about focus. When you cannot change the things you're going through, you change the way you respond to them. Your mindset is one of the biggest vaccines you can find. I'm not discrediting that you should focus on biological vaccination, but today I introduce to you one of my newest ideologies, and it is called situational vaccination. It's copyrighted. I've been using it. So if you use it, make sure you quote Jermaine Johnson. Situational vaccination is the mind's ability to adapt to a situation and to better treat with it and live with it because it has been going through it for a season of time. Come on, somebody. Hey, you can put that now in your psychology um, 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 research paper. Yeah, also, so you... My friends, better than all the biological vaccination you can get, you need to have a mental vaccination, which is your situational vaccination. Do not disprove all that you would have learned over the last year and a half in the pandemic. You would have been better positioned to study what is happening, better positioned to see how to assist yourself. Some teachers, you have gotten situationally vaccinated. Now you can come online and teach like a boss. It doesn't mean that you are perfect. If you lack any knowledge, go to YouTube University. University. It will teach you how to manage your online learning management system. Come on, somebody. It will teach you how to design flyers if you need to design them for your classes. It will teach you how to have icebreakers, even though you are not in a physical environment. Because whereas your, your, your mission does not change, nor does your message, your mission is to educate, your message is the curriculum that you deliver, your method must adopt. <laughs> you get what I mean, 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 you know? So your methodology, it is, is what is affected. Your mission hasn't changed, and your message has not changed. You are still here to educate students, you are still here to bring them the, 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 the curricula in the plural, but what must change therefore is your what? methodology. Don't allow coronavirus to act as if it mash up your life like Nico. It's not all your life it mash up. The only M in the three M's that it has truly affected is the what? The methodology. And so it can still be used in your favor because once upon a time it was chalk and talk, then white and right, you know, white border. But now you can put your PowerPoint in. Mm-hmm. Now you can inject that video, that audio, so you are able to bring a whole resources, a set of resources or plethora rather of audiovisual aids that are more superior to the long time charts than with them opinion and want to see no more because they want the creativity them see online with them fancy designs and so um, uh, with them cartridge paper not nah, keep. <laughs> you understand? And, and so you have to learn to adapt. But sometimes we are so comfortable in where, with where we are that we are afraid to step out of our comfort zone. Now, not only that the students are praying, you the teachers are praying as well. So be persistent, be resilient, be excellent and step up your game and the coronavirus know that it has nothing over you. Our students and teachers and parents and all, if you are going to make it, you've got to be fit, focused, I intelligent. Yes, man. Let me tell you something, students. If you're going to make it, you need intelligence. And intelligence occurs by learning. That is why, whereas you're able to check it out when it comes on to online class, because you have the beautiful excuses of blaming the internet even when there is net, of blaming the bandwidth even when the camera can be turned on. So when teachers looking for your face, the teacher only sees your space. And I said, where is Jeremy and Johnson? I searched all over. You see that? Could have found nobody. And then two tools you can just jump away and tell teacher miss the network went down it might work out in your favor in the interim but you're actually jeopardizing your intelligence you still need to learn your math your english your biology your business studies you need to ensure that you prepare yourself for the future so when you lock off the camera when there are students who wish they had a camera to turn on when you lock off the audio when there are students who wish they could connect an audio when you lock off the internet when there are students who wish they had connectivity is not teacher you're fighting is your future you're fighting <laughs> let me tell you something let me tell you something 
The future is not created when you get there. It is created by the actions you take now. The future is the harvest of the seeds that you sow now. So students, even though things are challenging, you can make it, but you've got to be fit. Focus and intelligent. Do not jeopardize your education. Get online and learn. Contact your teacher and let them know when you don't understand. Just as all you can cock up on Facebook and fast in a business and the party TikTok I watch laughing video. You must also know that you must spend time in your book. What you don't understand, YouTube University. So apart from what teachers do in that school, make sure you're complimented. If you are going to get success in the future, you need to pay attention to your book. And you do not need Carmen to come and make you know if you are going to be intelligent. <laughs> Some of you don't get it. You know, hold up. If you're going to be intelligent, you got to focus on your book <laughs> and therefore you need to be intelligent. You step up your game or else you're going to step up your shame because intelligence is going to prepare you to navigate your future. Challenges like coronavirus should make you aware that the struggle is realer for those who are not prepared to take care of their circumstances. Can I break it down? Let me teach it like I feel it. Uh, for the lockdowns, for example, who you think suffers the most? Not the people who are in a position to shop for the entire month. Then just put on a mega mart and make a mega start. Or them go to some bomb shoppers fear, even though sometimes the shopping is not fair. Or they go to progressive and they progress home and them good. But those who don't have any money, little bit of money, they have to survive hand to mouth. When you lock them down, then we suffer. Then we dead feel hungry because they can't buy enough food for more than one day. More just to shut, shut down for three and four days. Are you seeing what I'm talking about, students? And so whereas everybody is impacted, those who are in a financially embarrassing situation are, are greater affected by the pandemic. And so you need to understand that education will give you the intelligence so that you can have a good occupation. So if you ever end up in the same situation, you will have the type of remuneration to go and lock down at your home location and it doesn't bother your mental situation. You need money because if you have a little bit of money, you shall have a little bit of honey. The sweet things in life. So focus on your intelligence. If you have to learn on Zoom, as Zoom it is. You're going to learn on Google Classroom, Google Classroom it is. But whatever it takes, build up your mental capacity. I know schoolwork sometimes sucks. It can be a real pain in the brain. Come back here. What were you thinking? Pain in the brain. That's where the work takes place. You know, with all the assignments. Come on now, the farmers, the SBAs, and the whole nine yards. Talk to me straight on YouTube. It's not true. Yes, man, schoolwork can be difficult. But if you think schoolwork hard, try hard life. <laughs> Lord of mercy, try hard life when you can't buy food and you can't take care of yourself. And when you slim down and people say, oh, you look like you're losing your weight. So most people are put on weight in the corona. And you are, and you are, and you are, I mean, most persons are put on weight, but you are lose weight. They say, yes, you know, me I watch me figure because we don't want to look big like Pastor Johnson. Like... <laughs> Can't buy food for them. I mean, can I buy food to eat? And so you find yourself in that tickly situation. You think school work hard? Try hard life. When you are not positioned in the future to buy a little car, and so you're still with a car or a key. Just using it as an example. But you have to go up on the bus and pack up that watching. You have to pack up in the bus for sentence where wherever you are going, knowing that you might have several, um, you know, um, carriers in the vehicle. I'm not talking about the, the carrier of the transport but the carrier of the virus. Uh, but people cannot avoid doing so. Some now would have made something in life and can't want a little car, even if I want a little jalapi, then can quarantine in a day car and drive through. When I'm going through the towns, not even my window, then I wind down, because I don't want a car that blow through when I see the place crowded. But who, not everybody can avoid that. And even some of who have ambition cannot avoid it, much less those who don't have no ambition. Students, focus on your intelligence. Position yourself to reposition yourself. Take the opportunity to set up yourself, to step up yourself. Because if you are going to make it, talk to me for a quarter. Why, Pri? You've got to be fit, focused, 
Intelligent and tenacious. Now, tenacious tenacity is the quality of taking a strong hold onto something and not letting go of it despite the challenges you face. And no corona is forcing you to let go of your dreams. Hold on, be tenacious. I know some of you are depressed, you are worried, you are stressed. Hold on. I know the challenges are there. The struggle is real, but hold on. Do not give up on your education. Do not give up on your schooling. Do not give up on your future because the seeds you sow today will become the harvest of tomorrow. You need to understand that the challenges do not come to extinguish you. Don't call the fire department for the time. They come to distinguish you, to set you apart uh, so that regardless of the fact that you had to learn online, uh, when we see how uh, your seeds sick them turning at the future, then can no see how uh, the real boss, the distinguished so and so. All of the distinguished students start distinguishing the chats. Let me see what I've won over there now on YouTube. All my distinguished pre ers please type distinguished in the chat so when we say a fit. Come on now, I'm looking forward to my distinguished students. Yes, sir. full motivation to distinguish. Yeah, man. All my distinguished students type distinguished in the chat. Coronavirus ain't got nothing over you because you can't change it, so you're going to work your head on it by changing the way you respond to it. Yes, come true now, Bevana. You are distinguished. Where are my distinguished students? Uh, that's what I'm talking about. I see them coming in. Um, yes, Ava Kim, you are distinguished. Healthy living, distinguished. Uh, Shan's world, distinguished. Uh, yes, I, I'm glad to see my distinguished students in the chat. Parents, you are here to be distinguished. Teachers, you are here to be distinguished. Students, you are here to be distinguished. But for you to be distinguished, um, you've got to be tenacious. Hold to your dream. Hold to your mission. Teachers, your method must change, but your mission is still the same. Your message is still the change, the same. So adopt the methods and work with it. You understand? And balance the things. Students, your mission is the same. Your message is the same, but your method has changed. Adapt to it. When you can't change what you go through, change the way you respond to it because the same hot water that suffers potato hardens the eggs. And when coffee beans go in, the coffee beans take over. Take over and let coronavirus know that you are what? Fit. You are focused. You are intelligent. And you are tenacious. So in the future, you will learn that the challenges would not have extinguished you, but have done what? Distinguished you. So that when it's time for the C-set, them fifth farmer, them don't say you're the top performer because COVID-19 could keep back your dreamer. And then when you pass, you can move on to the next level because you can't get set back by the devil. On to college because no college, no degree, no degree. No qualifications, no qualifications, no job, no job, no money, no money, no honey, sweet life. You see your Marissa hairstyle look good? Money. You see your principal suit look sharp? Money. No money, no honey. You see your rocks and glasses look nice? Money. And when you don't have no money, your car is dark, it ain't sunny, and no smile because all life, no funny because the man go tell you, say, little bit of money. <laughs> you understand? So you have to make sure. You position yourself through education to have a successful future. Because whether or not you are ready for the future, the future is ready for you. So as I hem up the mini skirt and press it and turn it over to you, you need to be focused. Do not be distracted by the challenges, by the various things happening around you, including the, the virus. Be responsible, be accountable, but do not be distracted. Be intelligent. Know that your future is going to require somebody who is positioned for excellence, whether or not there was a virus. The hard life of the future will not give you a pass because they say, you know, so a rough time she did a learning. You know? Yes, man. When he was in school, in the latter part of school, he could perform well because it erupts him, the split. No, our life still have what did they? Hello, somebody. And be tenacious. Hold fast to your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, despite what is happening. You can turn out to be successful. We don't want you to grow up and to be sponging on people or have people sponging on you. For example, this workplace man, now work, now get qualified so that he can get a good work and yet he 
managed to get one nice nurse. And the food, because the nurse got to come hot boy, uh, hot boy is not boy, because you know, hot boy can't work to take care of family. She had to be working overtime to take care of the bills. So one night while they were about to make love, them married, I love making people them, you know? The, the, the phone rang and the hospital said, nurse, remember we, had, we have you on call. You need to come in right now because we have an emergency and we need some extra staff. And the nurse said to her husband, honey, sorry, we have to finish making love another time. The hospital needs me. So the man got upset, Principal Thomas, and said, I must hospital your marital. Every time I want to enjoy some time with my wife, Miss Pawela, a hospital calls you. I am fed up of this thing. So you know what? Pop your clothes and drop the phone disrupted. With tears trickling down her cheeks, what a pretty way to say that she's crying. <laughs> she asked him to hold the thought. When she answered the next phone call, it was her father. Unbeknownst, unaware of what was happening, the father asked her to put the phone on speaker because he had an important announcement to share with her and his son-in-law. When she put the phone on speaker, the father said, you know, darling, most parents wait until they, have, they would have died before they pass on their legacy to the children through the will. But I am parting ways with tradition. I want to see my children enjoy my hard-earned legacy. As a result, I have just wired to your account 200,000 US dollars. She said, oh my gosh, thank you, daddy. 200,000 US dollars. Yeah, the man, don't get glad so quickly. I want you to keep $100,000 for yourself. And I want you to transfer $100,000 to my lovely son-in-law. Because he never knows. So the son-in-law offered the woman to come out of the house. And when she came off the phone after she said, love your daddy, love you too. No, 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 no. You know, so woman have lacrity now, you know. And when woman have leverage, you see Warren, woman have attitude. So she just patted her tears. What a nice way to say that she dried the tears, you know. Patted her tears. Had regained her composure and look at the man across the room who looked like he's a jumbi. Because he knows she not send that the money they know him. So here the woman, sorry about the disruption, sir. As you were about to say to my father's good up, good up daughter, pack my clothes and what? The man said, pack your clothes, the man give me them for wash card the way you're busy, you can't do laundry this week. <laughs> I tell you, pack your clothes, the man give me them for wash because the way you busy, you can't do laundry this week. <laughs> we don't want you to grow sponging on people or taking advantage of people or being abused by people or depending on people. And for that to happen, you can make it, but you've got to be fit. You've got to be focused. You've got to be intelligent and you've got to be tenacious in order for you to get intelligence, you have to strive for excellence. That's what the pre come to this at all. In order for you to be focused, you've got to be persistent. That's what the pre come to this all. And in order for you to be tenacious, you've got to be resilient. Why pre? You can make it, but you've got to be fit. Peace out. While we turn over, while you're over there on YouTube, subscribe to Johnson Motivates and follow us on Facebook and on Instagram, Johnson Motivates. So those on YouTube watching, go type in my page right now, Johnson Motivates, and hit that subscribe button. And if you're on Facebook and Instagram, give your support and follow. God bless you, Principal Thomas and your team, and all the very best to you as you go into the 2021-2022 school year. Thank you. Oh, 
All right, Miss Ellis, I know you there, the Vibes Master. Thank you, Pastor Johnson, for coming on such short notice to share with us this morning as we get rev up moving into the new academic year. All right, Miss Ellis, over to you. What a day, what a day, what a day it has been. Thanks to all students who came out today. You know, special thanks. And I hope and trust that, you know, this week is just the beginning of lots of, lots of greatness. So we have Mr. Randy Warren, one of our guidance counselors here at Frankfurt High School to take us out. Mr. Warren. <laughs> Wait, Warren, alarm clock now, wake up yet. Yes, DJ Ellis, ready? Chat what they pray. Come on, students. Let's put some fire in the chat. Right? Big up Pastor Johnson, Pastor Jeremy and Johnson. Before I proceed any, any further, I'm gonna ask great 10 student Alia Bornant to give the vote of thanks for the guest speaker. Your time is Ellis. Mr. Warren, who you who you said I didn't hear that? Alia Borland. All right, Alia, Alia, are you with us, Alia? Yes, Miss. All yes, right, miss. go ahead, sweetheart. Turn on the camera so we can see that beautiful smile of yours. Really? All right, all right. We're not go I first deal, so we're not gonna beat you down. All right, all right. There you go. There you go. Okay. Good day, everyone. On behalf of the principal, staff members, and students of the Frank Court High School, I wish to express our sincere thanks to our guest speaker, Pastor Jermaine Johnson, for giving an exciting, interactive, encouraging, and just an excellent speech. I would like to expound on what you said about our future is the harvest of the seed we sow now. This is self-explanatory. It simply means that Whatever we sow now or whatever we put in now is what we will reap in the future. And so I'm encouraging my fellow um, fellow students of the Frank Court High School that please do not sow laziness because in the future, we will not reap success. Thank you. Wonderful, Alia. Thank you're you. most welcome. You're most welcome, Alia. Thank you so much. Appreciate your appreciation. And you go forth and sow them good seeds so that you can have them good harvest, even as you remain fit. God bless you from Court, from Court High School. Um, students, big up Alia in the chat, you know. I want to big up Alia. Thank you, Alia. So in reflecting on what was said, under the theme, reimagining, re Education through pre. 
I want to big up DJ Ellis and DJ Park. Wonderful job. Big up on yourself. Thank you, Mr. Thompson, for the devotion and virtual school tour. You know, so many of you remember some of them places that do. It's like over the holiday, you know. It's like me don't remember nothing, you know, Mrs. Howell. You understand? So that does bring back to life. You understand? The principal for his address and introduction of the academic staff. Mrs. Howell for outlining some of the social activities available for students and reminding us of the five dimensions of excellence. Boy, I me mean, need some, you know? Me need some. So if I have a three out of it, Mrs. Howell, may I beg your for you, lend me. All right. Miss Patricia White for her encouragement in dealing with and embracing change. Special big up to those parents and students that have supported me throughout the year. Because enough people don't remember say counselor needs support, you know. Them things are counselor, a rock stone, a iron. So big up on a nice, booning on yourself. Pastor Johnson, what an awesome message. Students, type in the chat, God bless Pastor Johnson. My granny would have said, Pastor Johnson, make it me your storeroom never empty. He said, persistent. Mean you cannot persist unless something is resisting. Excellence. You cannot excel unless you have some challenging situation. Challenges come to distinguish you and not to extinguish you. He also spoke about whatever God take you to, he can take you through. Challenges come not to extinguish you, but to distinguish you. He spoke about the mental vaccination. You and him just kind, you know, and say, I got trademark it. He spoke about when you lack certain knowledge, the YouTube university. I guilty of that, you know. Enough time I have to go up on YouTube to learn some things. And he said, your mission does not change, nor your message, only your methodology. And finally, you know, when we, when we take from it a little bit of money, we give you a little bit of honey. So big up yourself again, Pastor Johnson. And I know that won't be the last where we'll be seeing you. Hopefully, when things finally resume to some level of normalcy, more person will see you face to face. God bless you, Pastor Johnson. Now I'm going to check you now. Finally, Miss Howell, how did you feel this morning and how are you feeling now? I miss we're not hearing you, none at all. We're not hearing you. All right. She's always still on mute. Miss Ellis, tell me how you're feeling now. Hey! You know the vibes can never done, Warren. You know the vibes can never done. So this morning we start off on a hype, and of course you're ending on a hype. Thank you for checking in. Yeah, man, big up yourself, Mrs. Franklin Bailey. How are you feeling now? Hyped and revved up. I'm ready to go. Ready for the year ahead. What about you? What I'm feeling you? excellent. Wonderful. Big up yourself. All right. This is Jensen's. Jensen's not on. Any of the new teachers want to come in? Tell me how they're feeling now. Hi, Mr. Warren. Good that you wake yes. up now. <laughs> Finally, Mrs. Jensen. Good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm feeling good. Excellent presentation. Excellent job to the guidance department. Well done, well done. I believe the children were well engaged. Well done. 
Excellent word. Wonderful, thanks. I want to just big up everybody, you know. Couldn't get to everyone, but just big up yourself, right? Enough love and respect. Over to you, Miss Ellis. That's it, boys and girls. Join us again tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care.